डॉक्टर्स वेलकम बैक टू जब स्टडीज मेट वन आई एम डॉक्टर ऐश्वर्या मुकुल एंड दिस इज आर सीरीज फॉर प्रीवियस ईयर इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस इन दिस सीरीज वील बी लुकिंग एट सब्जेक्ट वाइज इंपॉर्टेंट इमेजेस विच हैव बिन आस्ट इन द एग्जाम एंड आर वेरी हाई एल्ड फॉर योर अपकमिंग एफ एम जी एग्जाम्स सो द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट विल बी टैकलिंग इज पीडियाट्रिक्स लेट इज मोर टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ पीडियाट्रिक्स दैट इज आर डिनाइन फाइंडिंग्स इन न्यू बॉर्न सो वॉट डू वी टॉक अबाउट uh benign findings in newborn is the findings that are present at birth or uh take place a few hours or a few days within birth so the first one we have over here is a very common finding it is called erythema toxicum it it includes of small white papules on the erythematous base so it is usually present on the face trunk and ex extremities it contains eosinophils and may persist persist for a week the next one we have is milia so milia are small small white white or also they are described as pearly opalescent white epidermal inclusions usually over the face like on the on the nasal area and over the cheeks so these are also benign and they go away on their own the next one is pustular melanosis it is a vesicular pustular eruption around the chin neck back extremities palms and soles it contains neutrophils so you have to remember that erythema toxicum it contains eosinophils how will you remember that so erythema means reddish in color eosinophils stain red so it's very simple to remember this way eosinophils and erythema so what uh, the exact opposite will happen in pustular mel melanosis that is it will contain neutrophils it is seen predominantly in black neonates the next one we have over here is epstein pearls these are sort of like nests of epithelial inclusions that appear as whitish or yellowish spots on the hard pellet of the newborn baby these usually resolve by 3 months of age of the newborn the next one is a very frequently asked image like the exact same image will be asked in almost all of the exams it is for the mongolian spots also known as dermal melanocytosis it's important to remember the synonyms or the alternative names of some conditions because that will be a confusing point that will be asked in the exam asked in the exam so these are slate blue demarcated areas of pigmentation present over the buttocks and back and these also go away on their own our next topic is disorders with due to deficiencies in pediatrics so the first two images shown over here are constantly asked in the exams we'll study them all together as a, a topic itself so it is very well known uh, if you are if you have studied pediatrics already this is kwashiorkor and marasmus so uh, the same points are have been listed over there corresponding to each other that is the age or the cause and the different different clinical factors so you can just compare kwashiorkor to marasmus because the points that will be given in the exam will be very very similar sometimes they will just give the image and you have to identify the disease but sometimes a few of these volatile points will be noted down to confuse you maybe they won't give the image and they will give the description of the uh, patient so these two topics you have to note them down because every single exam at least one of these topics comes so in kwashiorkor what happens is it is 6 in 6 months to 3 years uh, children however in marasmus it is seen in infants and less than 1 year of 1 uh, year child so the cause for kwashiorkor is protein deficit very important to know the cause is protein deficit in kwashiorkor and the cause is total calorie deficit in marasmus the clinical features of kwashiorkor and marasmus are as following so in kwashiorkor there is a loss of appetite mild or abscess muscle absent muscle wasting prominent edema protuberant abdomen it is very very important preserved subcutaneous fat fatty liver and apathy in the uh, marasmus the following are the clinical features the baby will have a voracious appetite since the baby is derived of all kinds of food or all kinds of nutrition there will be severe muscle wasting prominent ribs no subcutaneous fat no edema no fatty liver and no apathy so basically everything that is present 
in uh, Kwashiorkor is the exact opposite in Marasmus. But there are some special features that are to be noted for Kwashiorkor and for Marasmus. So what are these special features is in uh, Kwashiorkor the, we can see there is a moon face, flaky paint dermatosis and flag sign of hair. In Marasmus the child will be alert, there will be loose wrinkled skin and the patient has a baggy pant appearance because the skin will be very very loose. The next uh, disorder we have over here is acrodermatitis enteropathica. It is an autosomal dominant. It is an autosomal dominant uh, kind of inheritance. The next thing we see is the cause. The cause for it is zinc deficiency. But what, uh, what kind of zinc deficiency is it? There is an impaired absorption. So zinc might be present in the diet. It will, it will be adequate in the diet. But the uh, child will not have an impairment in the absorption of the mineral. The clinical features are chronic diarrhea, steatorrhea, that is a lot of fats in the feces, rashes, which are present in the perioral, inogenital uh, region. These are sharply demarcated dry scaly erythematous plaques as shown in the figure. Similar figures will be shown in the exam for this condition. There will be delayed wound healing and photophobia you have to remember all of these clinical features they are a key towards acrodermatitis enteropathica if zinc deficiency is given or not given the picture will easily uh, point out to acrodermatitis enteropathica because the uh, characteristic rash will be shown around the uh, oral area or around the nether regions that is the anogenital area the next deficient uh, disorder related to deficiency is rickets. We all know the cause of rickets is vitamin D deficiency. So what happens in vitamin D deficiency is there is a, the following are the clinical features. Bowing of legs, swelling in ankle and wrist joints, delayed closure of fontanelles in a newborn baby, white cranial sutures, craniotabies, frontal bossing and dental hypoplasia, pectus carinatum, that is birth chest. So we will see the uh, individual clinical features of rickets later on. But firstly, there is this one image that comes in the exam for sure. It is related to PSM subject as well. So it is the image for bite spots. So what are bite spots? These are foamy whitish triangular deposits of keratin in conjunctiva. The cause we all know is vitamin A deficiency. So the level of vitamin A deficiency is X1B. Another most important PYQ, very frequently asked. They will just give the image or uh, they will um, describe the vital spots that is foamy whitish triangular deposits of keratin in conjunctiva. They will ask you what level of vitamin A deficiency is it. So you have to remember X1B. The next are the images for rickets. The different clinical features. The first one is genuvirum. That is the bowing of the legs. You can see that the legs have bowed outwards. It, it is commonly seen in infants with rickets. The next one is frontal bossing. You can see that the frontal eminence is pretty much prominent in this child. This is called frontal bossing. Next one, next one is craniotabis, which of uh, which apparently means softening of the skull bones. Next one is pectus carinatum, that is bird chest. This particular image is very particular uh, for uh, rickets, that is Harrison sulcus. You can see there is like a, a above the subcoastal margin, margin there is this sulcus or there is this prominent sulcus form that is the Harrison sulcus seen in rickets. Another thing in the rickets related to the uh, ribs is the rachitic rosary. These are like the beads of rosary that will be formed on the uh, 
joints where uh, cartilage in, uh, between the cartilage part and the bony part of the ribs so that will be very prominent that is known as rachitic rosary and the last one is dental hypoplasia the image might be given as a uh, identify in which sort of deficiency or which uh, deficiency disorder this occurs or uh, a particular image out of all of this might be given there might be a there might be a uh, sorry there might be description of the disorder and any of these images as a clinical feature might be given and you will be asked to uh, identify the disorder and uh, all of these images for rickets are very very important as it is a very high yield topic so please follow our uh, fmg mantra for your exams please follow us on instagram telegram